making content from my hotel room. Uh, the thing about hotel beds, you just, you don't want to get out. You don't want to get out of bed, right? And so I want to be productive, but I don't want to get out of bed. So I'm doing a video from my bed. Um, three ways, three quick ways to massively improve your relationship. All right, number one, touch your partner. I'm not talking about in that way. Um, I'm talking about just daily gentle touches, the hand on the shoulder, um, holding hands while you're walking. Um, and as I'm saying this, ask yourself if you do this, hand on the back of their neck while you're driving, um, you're caressing, you're not squeezing, you're not choking your partner. Um, unless that's what he or she wants. <laughs> but I'm talking about the everyday touches, you know, when you walk past your partner, um, touching their shoulder, um, you know, giving them a quick hug, uh, holding their hand, right? This And your, your, your uh, love language doesn't have to be um, touch for this to be effective. Um, we all like to be touched. We all like to, it's not about the touch. It's about the acknowledgement. It's about, it's using touch as punctuation right um it's using touch as a form of expression and it's the daily touches like holding your partner's hand i think um go that go a long way and that we forget to do so touch your partners number one number two uh quick check-ins um we you know it's nothing has to be wrong for you to do a check-in and you don't have to make it all dramatic right it could just be like um, just how are you? What's going on? Um, how have you been this week? How do you feel today? Just a quick touching base. Um, you don't have to get into deep conversations, but these little check-ins, it makes people feel heard. It uh, gives a space for people to connect. Um, life happens really quick. We have checklists and schedules and things to do. And so just checking in with each other even if, if it's for a few minutes, if you're traveling, FaceTime, texting, whatever, just like passing, um, slicing through all the things that we have to do and the stuff that's on the surface and checking in with someone and making eye contact and just saying, how are you? How are you right now today? What's going on, right? Okay, and then the third one is the six second kiss. And um, again, this isn't like a sexual thing. Um, this is by uh, John Gottman, who's a world-renowned marriage relationship expert. He um, did studies on marriages, could predict divorce at like a 90-something percent. And he recommends a six-second kiss. And this is actually going in um, my, uh, Vanessa and I, uh, my, our, our, our new book, uh, because we, we do this, we, and it works, it's effective. So... If you have anger towards someone, um, you could get by, you could hide it if you're just going to, you know, peck them, give them a kiss, a peck. Um, but if you kiss someone for six seconds, it's hard to hide that shit. You know what I'm saying? Six seconds is actually a long time. And I'm not talking about like a sexual, you know, I'm not talking about tongue time. I'm just talking about six seconds of... Uh, what's going on here? Six seconds of meaningful kissing with intention. Um, you can really, you can't hide how you feel, I think, in six seconds. Because I think in one second, two seconds, you can. But six seconds, it's that like, it's that time where um, you go past the discomfort and you kind of have to really show yourself. So a six second kiss once a day. It's going to feel strange if you're not used to it. And um, the goal would be to get used to it because six seconds, you could donate six seconds of your day to your partner. And if you can't, there's something wrong, right? So it'll force you guys to slow down, to connect. And again, this isn't about having sex or getting turned on. This is um, a practice to uh, express love and connection. All right, so the three things you can do quickly um, to really, it's the most bang for your buck. It's the, um, you get the most out of uh, these three exercises to improve your relationship. Number one, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out of order because I forgot what number one was. The six, the six second kiss, 
kissing for six seconds um, with intention, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a long time. Six second kiss. It, and it's because we don't kiss. We just like pack. We're, we're you know, we, pe we peck in passing. Um, number two, check-ins. Quick check-ins. How are you today? How are you this morning? Um, how, how did you sleep, right? How do you feel? How are your legs after that workout? Just quick check-ins. Um, you know, they don't have to be dramatic sit-downs uh, analyzing your entire relationship. Um, and I know I just asked like how your legs are and that's technically a check-in, but go deeper. Like, how are you doing, right? Um, and then uh, the last one is, um, touch it's touch and it's not um groping it's not aggressive it's just grabbing your partner's hand that's actually really intimate you know um squeezing their neck gently scratching their back any kind of any kind of touch uh, sprinkling sprinkling that out throughout the day all right i got i gotta get out of bed now this is it's ridiculous i've been um in my hotel bed all morning uh, these three things, practice it. I guarantee you, your relationship will get better. And listen, um, they could also be used as a black light. If there's resistance on um, your partner receiving these three or you giving them, it's uh, something to look at.